Hello world, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video we're going to kind of start a new project, not really. I kind of recorded a video like a year ago, but then just left the project there. Um, the other day I was looking at my YouTube channel and I realized this, um, you know, this project series is a decide to continue. Uh, we will pause the class and wrap for a little bit. We're pretty much done with it. Except the Dropbox, inter oh, except like the, you know, finish the Dropbox flow, but we kind of finished that part really ready. So if you want, feel free to add your own feature to it. But in this video, we're going to begin the, yeah, another ba uh, budgeting app uh, application, which we're going to use Plate API. Okay, so in this video, we're going to design the syndication system. I think I recorded a video on about the syndication system, but I'm just gonna record another one so we're on the same page. Um, so this is another project that's already built already, so there will not, hopefully, not be that much of debugging going on, and then we can, you know, just um, go with go with the code, working code that's I have. So for the complete code, um, the video code, and the site, I will all link in the description down below. But yeah, finally, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So now as you can see, I have virtual environment set up, a Django project set up, all right? Um, in here, I'm just gonna start a new authentication app. Authentication, okay? And now create a file called urls.py from django.urls import pass from dot Okay, from dot import views, your all patterns is equals to a list. So let's also make sure to link it to the project here. I can call it uh, syndication. And while we are on it, let's go ahead and say CSRF trusted origins. That's a thing you have to add for. Uh, if you're using Django version 4.0 or above, in here, we're just going to say HTTP, All right, now we should have everything set up. Okay, so in here, let's go ahead and define, uh, actually, let's do a couple imports first. So in here, we're going to say from Django.contrib.os.decorators import login required from django.contrib.os.models import user from django.http import http response redirect and http response uh, like that, and then I'll send this from Django.contrib.os import authenticate log. Oh my god, authenticate login log out. Actually, I have I'm gonna create another one, another app, it's gonna be called Played API. All right, uh, the reasons, yeah, so we need a separate app to interact with the Play API, and that's why we have this app. Uh, right now, we're not gonna make any routes, we're just gonna use it to make a model. Like that. Uh, oh, actually, I need to add a syndication to the master URL. Uh, let's say include. Pass os include syndication that you Okay, now that part's done. Okay, so in this in here, we're just gonna say define register request if request dot method is post email is request dot Request.post bracket email password 
is request.post bracket password, first name is request.post bracket first name, and then last name is request.post bracket last name. All right, so in here then we can say user is user dot objects dot create user email. So username is email. Email obviously is email. Password is password. So user dot first name is first name. User dot yeah dot last name is last name. And then we can say user save, and then we can lock the user in by. Uh, well, we don't have to do this. We can just say log in, request user, and return them uh, to the home page. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to return render an HTML template like how we usually do it. All right, amazing. Okay, so then here we have the login view. Right, request. So in here we can say if request dot method equals equals post email is request dot post bracket email password is post dot post bracket password. And then we can try to find if a user exists with this credential. See so if user is not none. Let's lock the user in. Okay, so here's when we're using the played model part. So let's go to this here, and here we can define. We can create a model. So here we can say class plate credential is models the model. User is models the foreign key. Okay, I guess this works. Foreign key, we're gonna say os the user. That's basically we're gonna link it to the user. The related name, that's just going to be play credential. That doesn't really matter that much. And then on delete is going to be just a cascade. So that's just the user part. The most important part is access token because we don't want to keep prompting the user to give us the access token. So we're going to try to uh, use the access token if possible. All right. Okay, like that. Perfect. Uh, okay. So then in here we can go back to here. Uh, now we can do a try and say p equals played credential dot object. So wait. Yep, the objects dot get user user request a session bracket access token is p dot access token uh and do accept if the credential doesn't exist credential that does not exist pass. Um, oh yeah, finally, we're going to say request.get that gets next. So basically, if the user is prompting to this page because they want to, you know, go to another page, so this helps the Django server to know okay, which page we redirect them to. Right, we want to return, redirect them to wherever this is. Uh, but the uh, otherwise just return and redirect to the slash route. Else, uh, 
Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, this is gonna be indented. So this is only gonna happen if user, you know, user is not none means there is a user object. If there is not a user object, which it's up to you, don't really have to have an else here, um, because it's already returned here. But here, then okay, you know, still return HTTP response. Just say something like invalid login. All right, and this else is for if it's get request or whatever. I'm just gonna render this template instead. Uh, okay, finally, of course, the logout logout view. So I'm not sure. I think that we have used this login required decorator before, but that just will force you to log in. Basically, it redirects you to login URL if you are not logged in already. So that's a login URL. I don't know why someone won't log out before they're logged in, but then we can say log out request, return HTTP response, slash. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we have all these set up. Let's go ahead, create the templates for us to use. Let's go to getbootstrap.com once again. All right. Uh, We'll just copy their get started template or something. Yep. All right. Copy you. Uh, you know, copy you actually. All right. So templates, a syndication folder, and then in here I want to create. Uh, register the HTML first. Well, actually, this is going to be the base. Let me create base the HTML first. Uh, block title. And then, as always, going to load the container. And then, here is block main. All right, so in here you're gonna say extend uh, base HTML and block title and blocks because it register right. Here, let me search up the form and then can copy paste the form. Uh, okay, do not search the form. I don't know. You know what? Form control, yay. Perfect. All right, let's copy you. So then here we'll have form method you need to be post. So you need to have a CSRF token, right? Yeah, have that. So you need email. Oh, no. Name does not go here, name goes here. Name is email. So then copy and then their first name. For the sake of time, I'm just not gonna. Well, actually, let me do that to make it seem more professional. Uh, F name, stand for first name. And that will just be text. All right. And then we'll have L name or last name. Uh, first name. Last name. And then a password.
No, I can't say button. Submit. Class, it's button, button primary. Like so, submit, uh, register, whatever. And they can crew one for login. Gonna do pretty much the same thing, except there's no release field. Oh, it doesn't need to be a password. This need to actually be a password. Okay. Um, let's go add them to the URLs. Pass register register reuse dot register. Uh, pass login. Out. Okay, let's log out view. Let me log in view. There we go. All right, let's try to run the server and test it out. I have 18. Oh, yeah, let me apply all these migrations first. Migrate. There we go. Oh, I already migrated. Oh, right. Make migrations to update the SQL model. And now I can migrate it. There you go. Okay, Python and Java. Let's go run the server. All right, let's go to the website and try it out. Oh, slash. Oh, slash register base. Okay, do I really have to? Okay, so specify where is it, right? Authentication. Authentication. Right. That looks good. Let's try to register demo. Demo.com, demo, demo, demo is a password. Okay, that looks good. Redirect me to the front end. All right, I think, yeah, then log, uh, login view would definitely work. Well, actually, let's try it out. Let's log out first. Or the logout means slash out slash logout. Oh, yeah, oh. I want to redirect. Let's try again. Oh, okay, now it's too late. Ha! Huh. See, this is gonna happen. You're gonna log out immediately once you're logged in. Well, whatever. Let's see if we can log in. Hopefully, there's no errors. Perfect. There's no errors. All right, sweet. So yeah, that's pretty much all we're gonna do in this video. We basically just set up this entire syndication system. Next video is when the fun part gonna be uh, going to start. We're gonna implement a plate API into our project and experiment and play around with it and then see how we can fetch the user down. But yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, comment, feel free to comment down below. And as always, stay safe and have a rest of your day. That was me, out.